when you work with Chris, you're there where the camera is. And if the camera is uh, a thousand foot uh, up in the air, upside down, that's where you will be. <laughs> it feels like guerrilla filmmaking more than anything else. I would say almost every shot that's in the film, I mean, up there, I mean, Chris and I were there. In today's era, people are getting very used to seeing very interesting subjective angles. So as a filmmaker, that raises the bar in terms of trying to portray these planes from 1940. It was particularly important when we were trying to integrate the action with the boats in the water. You're trying to coordinate um, an entire gag or entire stunt or interaction of multiple airplanes with a ship that's in the sea. We flew a couple of times. I think it was very important for us to grasp how it actually feels to be in such a confined space. When you go up, you get an extraordinary degree of respect instantly for the people who are flying these planes. Pull so much G-forces and yet still understand how your orientation works. He's on me. I'm on him. basically build an airplane that we could fly with two people in it, but believe you're in a single pilot airplane. We started to invent stuff to make it possible for us to put the camera on planes. No one has ever put an IMAX camera on a fixed wing and done air to air at 200 miles an hour. Make it look like it's shot on a GoPro, but with the quality of an IMAX camera. Put the audience right there, give them that experience. They had to feel real. On my mark, 42. Three. Two. One. Dunkirk. Don't miss your chance to experience it in theaters before it's too late.